goddamn right. And you're gonna make a difference. This one comes with a basic sort of digital package. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? You got the power to change lives, right? Hello and welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. If you're interested in creating your own digital product or just want to learn more, you're in the right place. Whether you're just starting out or have been working on your digital product for a while, we hope that our podcast will provide valuable insights and inspiration to help you on your journey. Take it away, Barry. Hi, this is Barry here. So how can I get over my self-doubts when creating products? Now, you can use this advice that I'm about to give you for any any content creation, be that writing articles, podcasts, videos or whatever. It's not just just for people who are creating digital products. Now, if you have any self-doubts about creating any content or any products, I'll give you three things to remember. Now, the first thing is to remember is that you need to get your fears and the things that could be holding you back out of your head and get them down on a piece of paper. You know, sometimes when we have fears and worries, the worst thing you can do is keeping it in your head because it just kind of goes round and round and round and round and it seems to get bigger and bigger the more you dwell on it and the more you worry about it. So first of all, I would say to you is get your fears and your doubts down on a piece of paper. Now, you might have a fear that maybe you don't have enough knowledge or that you won't have enough time to create your product or that you are not the type of person who could be doing that. Now, when you look at those things, you know, down on a piece of paper, sometimes that does take all the strength away from them. And if you look at some of those kind of barriers or those fears that you have, see if you can come up with something that would solve that problem. So, for example, maybe if your fear was, well, I don't have enough time to create this digital training product, I would say, well, how can I find time? How can I, you know, get over this problem? How can I maybe grab an hour in the evening to write some content or record a video? How could I maybe just take a small piece of maybe my lunch break or something like that? Or how could I maybe bring my laptop in the car so that maybe when I'm waiting for the kids to get out of, you know, whatever club they're in or whatever, you know, can I do some writing in the car? Can I maybe do a couple of videos or whatever? Can I, you know, multitask doing something else? So when you find that when you come up with some answers to those barriers that are blocking you, it does take the strength out of them and it won't hold you back as much. Now, another thing I would say to you is that be aware that when you are creating any content, videos, whatever, you're always going to make mistakes in it. It's never going to be perfect. And sometimes we stupidly kind of go over the same thing again and again and again until we get it 100% perfect. Now, even these videos here, I know even though I'm trying to give you my best content, I know sometimes I slip up, I might say something stupid or something like that. So if I kind of go over this video again and again until I get it perfect, we'll never get this video done. There'll only be maybe one video up and that'll be it. So you need to get over your fear of making mistakes because sometimes the mistakes that we think everybody else can see are only mistakes that we can see. And sometimes we create content or videos that we think are perfect and then other people see mistakes in them that we can't even see, that sometimes we're blind to our own mistakes. So there'll always be mistakes there. You'll always, you know, whatever content you're creating or your products, it is a learning curve. You're going to make a lot of mistakes in, in the beginning. The second time you do it, you're going to be better. You're not going to make as many of those mistakes. The next time it's going to be better. Then the next time it's going to be better. You know, when you look at it, even... You know, in some of the big, huge businesses right now, you know, when you look at maybe Windows, like Microsoft with Windows, you know, the first version of Windows was never perfect. They were always updating it. They were always correcting it. Again, too, look at the phones, Apple iPhones. There's always a different variation that's always an improvement on the last version. So when you think about it, if Windows and Apple are constantly updating their equipment or their software, they know that it's not perfect, but they're still willing to sell it to you. And you should be thinking like that as well too. Thinking that whatever you're creating today or whatever you're trying to sell is the best that you can do right now. And that you know that in a year from now, there'll be an update. There'll be something that you can correct and then you can make that product even better. So don't be afraid of making the mistakes because as I said, you know, we're all learning as we go along and you're always going to improve no matter how perfect that you think you are. So that's another thing I would ask you to remember is that you will make mistakes along the way. And the third thing is to get you out of your own head 
is to think about the other person on the other side. You know, if I'm solely focused on me right now, thinking, well, how do I look in this video? How do I sound like in this video? Am I making sense or whatever? It does kind of put me back in my own head and it does give me lots of self-doubts, lots of fear. And again, I probably wouldn't record this video. But if I put me aside for a moment and if I say to myself, well, Barry, try to give this person who's watching this video the best content that you can give them. Give them advice that they can take action on and it will make a big difference in their business and their day or their life. When I put myself over to your side, you know, it's a, it takes a lot of pressure off me. And again, too, if you are creating any content or digital training products, think of the end user. Think of the difference you're going to make in their life. Think this person over here doesn't have the knowledge yet, but if I give them that knowledge, can you imagine the difference it's going to make in their life? I could be improving their health. I could be improving their relationships. I could be maybe putting more money in their pocket. So when you think about the difference you can make in that person's life, it does kind of take you out of the picture because you're solely focused on them. And then when you do that, it does take a lot of stress. It does take a lot of self-doubt because you're just thinking of what the difference you're going to make in that person's life. So again, just to kind of rehash or go over those three points again, be aware that your fears and the things in your head if you don't get them out of your head, they're going to grow bigger and bigger and you think you can't control them. But when you write those fears down on a piece of paper and then come up with solutions to all those things, it does take the strength out of them. Again, to be aware that you're going to make mistakes. You're never going to get it perfect. Just like Windows and just like Apple, you can come back with another version of that product that will be a slight improvement and will be better. So you're always kind of improving as you go. And again, to think of the end user on the other side. Get, you, get your head out of the game and stop thinking about you and think about the other person that you're going to help and you will find that will take a lot of stress off you. When you're creating any content or any digital products, it does help to lift all the self-doubts that you might have. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Discover how to finally make money while you sleep. Click on the link in the show notes now for your free copy of Digital Cash. Thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next episode.